smoke around the compound. Yeah, I see some tigers, maybe some squeaks. Okay, here we go. Look at this. Yeah, yeah, nice, huh? Ooh la la, one might say. A centerpiece to really tie the enclosure together. Oh, oh, beautiful. Some of you saw the uh, different uh, videos of the crane and it was putting the, these big concrete things down and then, well, now that they got the pool on there, but wait, there's more double pool. Double the wetness, double the fun. <laughs> Take that uh, however you want. Of course, keeping the old tank inside, keeping the old tankaroo in there, adding the new elements and adding new platform systems. Oh my gosh, this is just wonderful. We were in this enclosure uh, last night, actually, putting on the concrete stain. We had... Uh, spray bottles that had like dark red and brown so you can there's like brown accents and some of this stuff just to kind of you know to make the to for the visual the theme barn red whatnot but yeah kitties are gonna love this they are gonna l u v it love it well we were here last night yeah 11 11 30 Spraying that thing because it ha you have to, you have to spray concrete stain, which that's what it is. It's concrete stain. You, it has to be a certain temperature. You cannot put that stuff on there when it's too hot. <clears throat> so that's what that's all about. But yeah, that just it just came together. Oh, so nice, so nice. Really excited. We're gonna be letting the uh, letting the girls in there. Definitely we'll be filming different bits of that. I've been doing a lot more filming with our our nicer kind of high definition camera um, because I've been sending videos off to, to Melissa so that she can kind of work her editing magic. So you'll be able to actually, there should be video coming up in the relatively near future that kind of shows the time the time span of the project. Tearing the old enclosure down, building the new one up, putting all the stuff in there. Kitty's coming together to enjoy it. It's a narrative. It's a story. Anyway, hello all you big cat lovers out there. It's me, Derek, again. Welcome to another super duper fantastic episode of the Walk Around the Compound webcast. I just saw Milo. He's walking around. I think he went inside. I think he went inside. Cassie's up top. Milo is inside. Ace is a puddle. Ace is someone took a batch of uh, Ace powder. They uh, put it inside of a uh, of a mixing bowl, they whisked it, they whisked it together, and then they poured it out right there. He kind of, sorry bud, I kind of said whisk a little bit too enthusiastically. He's just like, I do not care for your whisking. Please whisk somewhere else. Please whisk somewhere else. Hi, mister. How are you? Well, you know. Yeah. Gotta get inside. Just to... Gotta get away from the... Uh, from the... You know, the... Uh... You always have like those different things like, it's this temperature, but it feels like this temperature. Usually that's going to be more associated with 
relative humidity, the amount of moisture that's actually in the air. And thankfully, we're starting to get into that part of summer where it's a little bit drier and it's hot, but it doesn't like feel like just, it doesn't feel stupid, <laughs> you know, just ugh. At least we don't have that. Some of you are probably getting a little bit antsy right now. Some of you are probably waiting for me to get to a very important uh, thing, a very important uh, announcement. Well, technically, I think it's already, by the time that this is going to get posted, it's already going to be announced. I'm sure that a lot of you are just like, get to the thing, get to where you I want to see him. We know he's there. Derek, I want to see him. I want to see him. This is an opportunity to see him in a longer form format. I'll get there. I'll get there. I'll feed you baby birds. Don't you worry. Oh look, Papa's up. We're just gonna make the rounds really quick. We're gonna go see some other kitties. Good things come to those who wait. Just have patience. Have patience, have faith. We're gonna get there. We'll see them. Don't you worry. People are gonna be sitting there posting in the comments, you know, like the little hyperlink, the blue, like, yeah, 1247. Jumps right to the spot that you want. See him. And then I'll just go in there and just be like, well, let's remove that comment. <laughs> let's hit the old delete button. Like, why you do this, dear? Why you do this? Oh, it's the anticipation. Come on. Sometimes the thing... I'm going to tell you right now, this is me personally. Hi, Papa. Moved him back to his old enclosure, and he has just been doing pretty darn good. Hi. He has been up and walking around and snuffling and getting up on his pee-pee rock. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Old duck. He's got one duck. I know he's got two ducks in here. He's basically, he's got his duck and then he's got his side duck. <laughs> and I always fight over who's who. Like, I'm the real duck in Polly's life. You're just a side duck. <laughs> what you doing, bud? What you doing? What are you doing? You gonna come and Plop down, take a nap. Yeah. There you go. Nice. There you go. Good book. Good job. Good job, bud. <gasps> hey, mister. Hi, Yano. How are you? What do you know? What do you know? What do you think of that? Hmm? Scratch, 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 scratch. Just get really in there. There you go. That happens. It's like when you hit that good spot. You know? So you just kind of start involuntarily grooming. Ooh, yeah, right there, right there, right there. And done. Yano. I can't reach that far. <laughs> what a sweet boy. What a sweet boy. What a sweet derp. Oh, 
Oh, Heidi's out uh, mowing. She's out mowing. And I'm going to be, well, as of when I'm filming this, it's like I have to, it's weird, I have to talk about certain things that are happening chronologically relative to when I'm filming this, which as of, is like the reality that me right now, this version of Derek is existing within, you know? And then I also have to think about it in the framework of like when the video is going to get posted and the timeline in which the viewer at that point is going to be existing within. I am um, trying out some different stuff on Patreon, like tonight, again relative to when I'm filming this tonight, I'm going to be testing out the capabilities for private live streams. For you know, patrons, patrons, and give you the opportunity to be able to kind of tune in, watch that, tune in and watch it, and it'll be kind of a, you know, like a smaller, smaller club. So that should be kind of interesting. Hi, baby. Hey, Vivi. Hi, Sugar Pie. How are you? Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. What a good girl you are. Hey, what a good baby. Oh, Milo's out again. But I, I think I'm going to try to do a couple different things. There's certain things, maybe like weekly shout outs for certain tiers of stuff like that. Who's getting antsy? Who wants to see him? <laughs> who wants to? Who is like this? Is really great, Derek, and we love squeaks. We love squeaks. Just show us the new baby. Show us. Just show us, please. We're almost there. We're almost there. Almost there. Mimi. Besides, we have so many other babies. So many other babies that we still have to say hello to. <laughs> meek, meek. I love your eyes. You have such amazing eyes. So many captures. So many capture, capture, captures. Meep. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. I'm probably going to post some of those eye close ups on the Instagrams. Probably put a couple nice little filters on it. And then people are just like, Derek, you post such amazing pictures. And it's just like Instagram filters are a thing. Hey, hey. That was getting, we're starting to go into Siriusville. Okay, that was, that's not Playtimeville. This is, this is Sirius Town right now. Come on. Hey, 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 hey. I know. Oh my gosh. Zizi. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Come on, girls. Come on. Let's be nice. Meek. Meek. Oh my gosh. It's you and a lot of times it's it's like it's Mika. Zara is just like she's just kinda she's crinkly. Zara just can't help but just kind of be elevated at a certain kind of that's just who she is, it's how she is. But Zara is not the one oftentimes that goes and instigates these things. It's a little Mika. It's like Mika knows that Zara kinda gets a little bit kind of wound up and then she's just like she'll just sit there and just kind of poke she's just like a bratty little sister bratty little sister look at you you're being so bad 
you're being so bad. She's like, uh, I'm not bad. What is, my gosh. Oh my gosh. She was fully on, she was fully hanging on the enclosure, on the side of the enclosure. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, it's for horses. Z. Z. Hey, stop. Come here. I know. <laughs> I think it's probably some of the environmental circumstances might actually, they may be contributing a little bit. I mean, like with all of like the, the, the renovations and all the different things, they've kind of been, oh my gosh, girls, girls. Hold on. There you go. There you go. Okay. Take a piece of chicken. Meek, 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 meek. Here you go. Like that, have that. Yeah, yeah. Distraction, distraction, distraction. I got chicken on my fingers. I gotta touch my screen. Ew. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. I'm. I think I'm pretty much immune to like any visits from Uncle Sam and Aunt Ella. I've been handling chicken for years. Okay. You feel better? You feel better? Ooh. Maybe your tension's not on each other and being crazy? Being bad tigers? <clears throat> I will say though that they're... It's understandable. Because they've been a little bit more kind of cooped up lately just because of all the renovations. Uh, and then even with the, with the renovations we had to, we had to take even more, we had to take even more real estate from them. We did. We did. And you're going to see why. You're going to see why. Poor little girls, Mika Zara. It's like you, you, you put them in the alleyway and then they're like, we got to tear that other enclosure down. So you're gonna have to be in here. And then they're like, okay. And then you tell them like, all right, well, there's gonna be a, there's gonna be a new, uh, new guest coming. So we're gonna have to give them like part of your, part of your space. And they're like, we just keep on uh, having to incrementally give up little pieces. We have to keep on incrementally giving up little pieces. Oh, perfect timing. Oh my gosh. He's inside of his house. And uh, he does not like lawnmower. So part of me wants to actually kind of wait until maybe Heidi kind of moves to a different part of the... Until Heidi moves to a different part of the compound because I don't know how much he's going to be getting up and out into the enclosure... Let me go ahead and pause this again. All right, she's a little bit farther away. Hey, big guy. Hey, bud. Ooh. Hey, hi, what? I know, that scary lawnmower. That lawnmower is so scary. Look at this guy. Look at him. New boy. New boy. Yup. And he is uh, pretty close to Mika and Zara's size. So, yeah, we are, uh, we are thinking that uh, an introduction is definitely warranted we're gonna have to do a couple different things with him uh medically first of course but yeah new boy new boy he is a, and he's a sweetheart absolute sweet he really really is it's just today lawnmower very scary lawnmower is scary 
Hold on, let me pause this really quick, see if I can kind of get down on his level and see if I can get him to come out. And if he does, I'll film a little bit more with him outside of the house. See, we get along. We are very good girls. We are, we are, we love each other like sisters. See, look at this. Look how good, look how much of good girls we are. Look how much of good tigers we are. You're not fooling anyone. You girls are not fooling anyone. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that. They're holding peats. They are holding peats. All right. Oh, okay. All is forgiven. <laughs> All is forgiven. Oh my gosh. Look how adorable this is. Look how adorable this is. Um, he, he didn't want to come out of the house. Um, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna pause and then go all the way around and then I'll resume back over here so we can get a, a, a different look at him. There he is. Hi. Hi, mister. I know, no scary lawnmower. It's, it's gone. It's gone until the next time things need to get mowed, but we don't got He's like, what? There's gonna be a next time. Oh no. I'm like, oh, I shouldn't have said it. <laughs> it's probably not gonna be for a long time. Actually, that might be one of the last times during the season that this whole place needs to get mowed because rain, rain, it uh, sort of kind of went away and it will come again another day. Hey, bud. <laughs> now he doesn't really have a name yet. Um, Heidi wants to call him Ezra. The interns like Emily. She wants to call him Grande. Which is kind of silly, I think. I like the name Rio. You know, because I think that um, he's uh, he's a fan of uh, hi. He's a fan of 80s music. Hi. Big fan of Duran Duran. Hi, mister. There we go. Brave boy. Brave boy. Yeah. He just got here. Relative to when I filmed it, when I'm filming this. Just got here. Uh a few days ago. That's it. Just got here a few days ago. So all this is very new, and it's like it, every he'll get used to pretty much everything. It'll it'll become par for the course, and part of it is also it's like you have to desensitize. I mean, just the whole even like tarps and just lawnmowers and things like that. That's that's stimulating, and there's it's big stuff, and it's okay. And he's allowed to be just kind of you know like what he's allowed to be a little bit kind of freaked out about some of this stuff. As long as he's not like completely losing his cookies, he's fine. And he's gonna get used to it. And then he is going to be a big, strong, tough care tiger. Yeah. He's gonna see lawnmowers and he's gonna be like, Psh, what apps? What apps? But for the time being, it is like, this is all very, very new. This is all very, very new. O M A G. But he is an absolute sweetheart. He really is. So, so happy that he's a sweet boy. Can't get too deep into his circumstances for a few different reasons. Um, but just know that he was most certainly in need of a home. Most certainly in need. And now he's with us and that's a good thing and that's a good thing and we're very happy for that so yeah he's a sweet boy and he's handsome too and he is handsome and I'm <laughs> well you know and when because Heidi went and got him, and she's like, he is a lot bigger than I thought he was going to be. Oh boy, he's going to be a lot, lot bigger. And then we got him into the enclosure, and it's like, well, he's actually not at, like, relatively speaking, like, he's not that much bigger than Mika Zara. So this is actually going to work out. 
or I hope it works, and Heidi was saying, I hope it works out when we actually do try to introduce them. And I'm like, well, you know, Mika, Zara, they're going to be like together. It's going to be the two of them. So I think that that should be, that should be a good thing. And she's like, I'm not talking about them. I'm not worried about Mika, Zara. I'm worried about him. <laughs> ah, she's like, those two, those two little devils. And he might be such a sweet boy that he doesn't know to just kind of like, you know, defend himself. Just like, oh, this is what I'm supposed to do. And they're just going to pick on him. So, uh, yeah. Which might happen. Which might happen. Probably will. <laughs> Welcome to Care, nerd. <laughs> oh, Mika. You're nice to the new kid. Ooh. Ooh. Hi, bud. But yeah, new things, awesome stuff. Ooh, stinky. Ooh. Well, we're really excited to see how this whole thing pans out. And we will absolutely keep you folks posted. But yeah, yeah. Anywho, I think I'm just gonna end the cast on that note. End the cast on that note. You'll see the rest of the cats on the uh, on the Thursday one. Actually, I think that the uh, Thursday one. I know that some of you um, may have been wondering about the that tweet that I sent out. Basically, at last uh, the Thursday webcast last week, I actually had it. I had it filmed and edited, and it was uploaded. It was ready to go, and I rewatched it because a lot of times I'll actually rewatch webcasts before they get posted, just to get a better kind of context for what they're about. I rewatched it and I'm just like, Ag, I got to I can I can do better." So I actually just said just like, "Nope, I deleted it." And then I'm going to redo it. And I'll talk about more about why on the next one. So, stay tuned for the Thursday one. As always, hashtag Dorbestward in the comment section below. Thanks for watching this episode of the Walk Around the Compound webcast. My name is Derek. I will talk at you folks later. See you on Thursday. Bye-bye.